In this tutorial, we are going to look at how to submit assignment using the UEW LMS mobile app. To submit an assignment, you would first have to locate the course to which you are to submit the assignment. In my case, I have this as my course, Demo 111. The shortest way to know if you have an assignment to submit or a quiz to do is to scroll down. When you scroll down and you come to the timeline, you will see that all the activities that you have will be displayed there. So in my case, I have assignment 1, which is... So in my case, I have assignment 1, and then I have mid-semester exams. So I can directly submit my assignment over here. All I have to do is to tap on add submission then to take me to my assignment or I can open the course and then locate the assignment so I'm going to tap on the assignment to open it you could see that it's having the same interface so the shortest way to submit or have access to your assignment is to come to your timeline and then you could see the assignment or the activities and then the date that they will be due in my case i have sunday 31st january to be the due date for my assignment one and my mid semester exams so to submit this assignment i'm going to tap on add submission After tapping on Add Submission, I could see that the submission status is showing no attempt and not graded. It means that I haven't submitted any assignment at the moment. So the question for my assignment is, what is a computer? So in my case, I have my question typed in a test box for me. Maybe in your case or the assignment that will be given to you, you would have the assignment typed in a Word document and uploaded or included in the assignment. If that is the case, you would have to download and read the question and then answer the question in another Word document. Then, you'll be, then you would have to upload it onto the system. So in my case, I'm going to read the information about the assignment. This is my question. What is a computer is my question. Then. I could see the time remaining that is 14 days 22 minutes then the due date to be shown and then you could see the number of attempts so i have one attempt out of unlimited means i can submit the assignment as many times as i want but in your case maybe you may get only two attempts or even one attempt whatever attempts you may get you have to make good use of it so that you don't submit the wrong file so to add my submission i'll go ahead and tap on the add submission button here after tapping on add submission button you could see over here i have online test submissions this one means that i can be able to type my assignment in this test box shown here I'll be able to type it in there and then there's another option file submissions this one also means that I'll be able to submit files that is the answers to the question in the assignment I can type them in a word document or PDF as shown here acceptable file types document files and then we have PDF document and then we have Word document too. So if your lecturer specifies the particular file you are supposed to use in submitting your assignment, you would have to adhere to that and submit the right document or file type. So if you don't see online test submission, it means that your lecturer didn't include that. Your lecturer might prefer that you submit a file instead of you typing in. So whatever the case may be, you would have to choose one in submitting your assignment. 
So in my case, I'm going to use the file submission. So I'll scroll down and I'll see add file. I'm going to tap on add file. Then you see another pop-up dialog. I'm going to choose file. Then it will open my file manager or file explorer for me. In my case, I have my document at downloads. It's very important you remember where you place your document or your assignment and you take note of the naming. Some lecturers specify the naming format for every assignment. Make sure that you follow that specific format. Some will ask you to save your file with your index number and your name. It depends on the lecturer, so you just have to do exactly what the lecturer is asking you to do. So I have my documents in downloads. If you have yours copied directly into your phone's drive, you would have to search for it. But to make things easier for me, I've placed mine in downloads. So I'm going to tap on downloads where I can see my file. Then I'm going to tap on it to upload it. So you could see my file has been uploaded over here. After uploading your file and you scroll up, you come up here at your top right corner. You see save. So as soon as you upload it, don't forget to come and tap on save at the top right corner. So I'm going to tap on save. It's asking me, am I sure? Yes. I'm going to click on OK. So make sure you have your file naming correct and make sure that you are submitting the correct file. If the file you are submitting is not the right file and you have just one attempt to submit an assignment, you will find yourself wanting because the system won't allow you to delete and resubmit another file. So you take note of this and make sure you submit the correct file. I'll go ahead and tap on save and tap on OK since I'm sure about my file. Then you could see the submission status. It is showing draft not submitted. What I just did is that I have saved the assignment and it's on the system, but I haven't submitted it. If you get your assignment in this state, you can close the app and open it again another time and come and submit if the time is not due. So as you can see, the submission status is draft, means that it has been saved on the system or on the app, but not submitted. If you want to submit it right away, you have to scroll down. You can edit submission, that is, you can change the file if you are unsure or if you realize you've uploaded a wrong file, you can tap on edit submission to edit it and upload the right one. If everything is okay, then there's a statement here that you have to agree to says, this submission is my own work except where I have acknowledged the use of the works of other people. So you have to tap or check that box to agree to the submission statement. As soon as you tap on submit assignment, your assignment will be submitted for marking. And if your attempt is just one, you won't be able to edit or resubmit another file. So since I'm so sure about my file, I'm going to tap on submit assignment. Then I'll tap on OK. Now when you successfully submit your assignment, you could see the submission status submitted for grading. Then the second one is showing not graded. That one is not your problem. It means that you have successfully submitted your assignment, but your lecturer has not graded or marked the assignment. So this is shortly how to submit an assignment using the UEW LMS mobile app.